Hello and welcome back everybody. I'm Necromanticer and we've got this fresh save back from Phoenix. A lot of work went on including some grants, a little bit of deployment scheduling, and we've increased the size of our cleaning cupboards and set up a full new laundry, which is going to be really important, as well as I think the classroom. I don't quite recall if that was new or not, but we've got that all nice and set up. A little bit of wonkiness went on with the schedule here and I'm just gonna fix that up some. We don't want to give our prisoners too much free time as well as we can't have two meals scheduled if we're going to be working on the inmate nutrition research which we just recently got set up so I'm gonna replace that for now. We can change it up once we've passed this meal and that's how you kind of do a little dance with the regime in order to get everyone set up. Something else that's really important is that he set up a f little bit more stringent punishments in order to hopefully get a few informants out of our people and we start off with this one right here. We're gonna let him get some coverage before we start activating him but that should help us get a better fix on the uh, contraband problem. In addition to the grants, we also have some bank loans, which are actually going to do us really well because we can increase that and we're slowly building a credit rating. And the idea about increasing that is I can use that money to make improvements that are going to increase my income in the future, which is very much important. First things first, though, we need to get this oh, second laundry machine attached to the piping. And in fact, I really think that this should be our main laundry, so I'm going to heavily increase its amount of capacity. I'm going to go with eight of these laundry ironing boards and another pair of laundry machines. And something that's a little bit annoying to me right now is that this, these white tiles in the center aren't taken care of. I want to cover everything in white tiles. We've turned this whole place into a kitchen, and I just really dislike having multiple uh, flooring patterns within the same room unless it's for a design. I'm gonna worry about this cleaning cupboard later because it's not important and it's, it's just kind of a, in the side area but for now I would really like to work on the rest of my prison. Speaking of the prison we've got a little bit of a deployment problem. I think what's going on is that Phoenix keeps editing the unscheduled time last and so whenever you schedule the uns <laughs> whenever you're deploying on the unscheduled time that actually counts across all of the uh, schedules no matter what so it's best if we edit those individually like during the night we don't need people in the yard or the common room or the kitchen canteen basically anywhere that isn't a cell block or these delivery sections just in case we get some nighttime deliveries because all we need to do is keep eyes on our prisoners and we want as many guards free as possible in order to help with shakedowns that we run during the night. During shower time, once again, we don't need people in all these sections, but instead we should double up on guards that are in cell blocks that have access to a shower, so that's going to be pretty important. I do want to have visitation uh, guarded and oh death really what's going on here what happened here really guys <sighs> our prisoners are so unruly and it's frustrating don't really see what happened but I'll take their word for it what's going on here did we accidentally remove that fence that's positively silly let's get that filled in so that we've got a fully working solitary Hopefully our exports are going to give us a nice amount of money, but they're taking a bit slow. Hopefully when we harvest these trees, they will give us a nice bit of lumber. Oh, that makes sense. A lot of our prisoners are gathering in the cleaning cupboards during work time, so I've got to schedule guards both there, workshop, canteen, no, not the canteen. We can remove the canteen and the kitchen. No, I don't think we can. I I remember Phoenix put some TVs in there, as well as phone booths, so prisoners might be there to fill their needs during regular time. 
but we also want to station guards in the, both laundries and the cleaning cupboard. Anywhere that's going to have work being done needs a guard during the work deployment. As for the eating deployment, we can take guards out of most places. I just like having the cell blocks covered at all times, but what's going to be important is here in the canteen. We want a bunch of guards stationed for that. And what else is there? Shower time, sleepy time, work time, and eating time. Yeah, everything checks out. I think we've got a nice schedule for the guards. Let's check what time it is. They're about to finish their meal, after which I can move the meal to the morning and turn this into work time. That way we still get the grant progression, but we never miss out on our daily meals. So now that the hour has passed, we can schedule this and turn this into work time or lockup, but either way, we want to make sure that it's set at a single meal each day because otherwise we're not going to be making progress on the inmate nutrition grant, which is going to be a nice surplus of cash when we can finally reach it. Also, we should probably be starting on the carpentry program but that's gonna require a heavy investment and it's not gonna pay off for a long time to come so I'm wary about getting into that huh, these guys are really making a mess so what we're gonna do is dismantle this here solitary since I think that one will work fine first I want to check and see if any of these could be informants oh two of them lovely we're just going to recruit you and recruit, no, oh, no, recruit you. We can work on getting them active in a little bit, but for now, we're happy with that. Any others pop up in the meantime? Nope. A lot of stoicals. That's probably not too helpful, but we're going to be replacing this here solitary. I don't want us to have too many places to take them. It's nice to have them in a very focused area, so... Take away all those toilets, and we are going to demolish certain walls as well, because I'd like to turn this into an expansion of the infirmary so that we can have more beds and thus a more efficient pharmacological program. Mm, still just base 31% of inmates passing that, which is really sad to see. I think we can start... No, we'll start new pharmacological treatments once we have the secondary infirmary set up. We always need workshop safety and yeah we're... can we run two of those? I don't think it's worth it to just have five inmates going but we can start at kitchen safety and hygiene rooms. We're gonna delete all this and turn it into infirmary. If I could find it. There we go. There we have it as well as Ooh, I want to demolish this wall some so that we can just have the two wide separators and now we're gonna make a pretty heavy investment with some medical beds not something I want to be spending money on necessarily right now but I think it'll be helpful we can set those up I really really am anal about the tiling so let's just do white tiles fix it all up right now and we don't have to worry about it again. That should keep our doctors nice and up and running. We can schedule the pharmacological treatment once that bed's down. Wonderful. Let's see. Now we should be able to serve quite a number at a time. Yeah, a full 18 prisoners in drug addiction treatment, which is going to help with our uh, health grading once we finally release enough prisoners. But Right now we've only released four, which is not too good. Our prisoners are all waking up. Are either of these guys informants? No, they're max, super max prisoners. No, just max security prisoners. Oh, what's going on? This guy got a little bit uppity. It's because he's extremely volatile. In that case, I'm upgrading you to maximum security just so we can keep an eye on you. It's not important to have you super max, but we do need to keep an eye on you. And I'm also going to send a doctor over there to fix you on up. No problems in our showers. That's good to see. What else needs doing? Let's have a look-see. Is our utilities all up and running everything nice? 
that's good to see. Right now, we're just kind of waiting for a bit of bank... Really? Come on, guys. We just had this talk. Oh, well, <laughs> extremely volatile. Oh, dear. What's going on here? Oh, yeah, we definitely have a tunnel going on. That's not good. We need to dismantle the nearby toilets just to make sure that it's not going to be a problem, but the fact that they've dug so far is really worrying. We're just going to dismantle all those, make sure that we can see what's going on here. Anything over here? No. Once we dismantle the toilets, we will figure out if there's... Oh my god! It just keeps going! Holy cow, that's actually kind of scary. We almost had a five-man escape? Yeah. Wow. That is not good. Not good at all. Let's replace all the toilets so that we can get the cells back up and running. There we go. Just like so. And... Let's see. We actually have a nice uh, surplus of space in our prison, so let's open it up to extra prisoners. Nine should easily fit within the prison, and we can sort all this. Really, guys? Take them to the doctors before you slap them into solitary. Goodness, you just never, never can leave these prisoners alone. What's going on with our danger level? I think they're not happy with the... Uh, <laughs> food, but it's better than giving them just a single meal a day. Okay, it's because they still haven't eaten yet, but we've got guards pretty much all over the place. During meal time, I'm actually just going to schedule one extra guard. Oh, come on. Where? Oh, they killed a guard. Who did that? Oh, of course, it's Kenway. How much, what has he done? He, what? He's committed 18 murders while he's been here. What are you talking about? That's ridiculous. Oh my god, there's a reason I have him super max. Volatile and deadly is a scary combo, as you can well see. We're going to need to replace that guard, but we don't even have the money for it right now. Ugh, frustration. Oh wow, okay, let's... Let's get those CIs. And from here, I'm going to want to start activating some of them. Recruit these guys. Just all of them. They're mine. I'll take care of you guys. Sure. What's this guy? He's confidential informant, but there's a reason he's scheduled as Supermax. Character. He doesn't have a reputation? Huh. Not super max, but max sec. Now we've got the forestry coming in. We can be converting those into logs and then into wood, which is basically a six times uh, multiplier on the investment in the trees. It just takes a while. Yeah, I expected a riot in the uh, kitchen. Not the kitchen, but that canteen, which is why I stationed so many guards there. Let's get some doctors over there to sort that out. We can also have a few of them coming to the infirmary. We've got all this sorted. Oh, they're trying to escape. Tisk tisk. Let's just have a look. See, this guy's overdosed, and I hope that a guard's going to get to him in time. May not. There we go. Okay, let's take him all the way up to the infirmary. So many injuries just all around the prison. And our doctors are just not getting on top of it. Yeah, it's seen Kenway. I hate you so much, Kenway. He's the worst prisoner ever. Yeah, he's our informant. So let's start getting some of our informants working for us. We've got a lot of them idle, but we can just start activating some of them. Just willy-nilly. See what kind of coverage that gives us. Should help with a bit of the smuggling that's going on just rampantly. If I had more cash, I would start setting up a bunch of metal detectors in the important areas, but we don't quite have the reserves for that just yet. I'm really glad we've got these dogs patrolling up and down, because otherwise I wouldn't have caught that breakout attempt, and that would have been all bad. We can still take in those prisoners. 
Huh, let's see, what was I going to be doing? Not deployment. Let's look at our programs and see what's... Oh, we need to switch up the regime to give ourselves a dinner. Really late, but it's okay. And schedule that as work time. Just because we always want to have this grant going while we're playing through. Because while you're serving the single low quality meals, it's imperative that you make sure you're only... Uh, that you are actually giving them two meals a day, otherwise they will riot horribly. And with a hundred prisoners approximately, that's gonna just gonna be terrible for us. I don't think the amount of guards we have could really fight that off. Speaking of which, we do need another guard. Oh, but we're replanting too many trees for it. That's kind of sad. I think that way too many of our saws are dedicated to creating prison blanks, so I'd like to remove some of these workshop presses and see if that can fix it up, and when I do, that will allow me to expand the forestry, which means we have a faster supply of trees, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to that this episode. This guy is just spasming out. Oh, speaking of which, I want to grab a doctor and fix both of these guys up, but almost as importantly, yep, Spasming, but we can get him as a CI. Recruit him. We've got how much coverage? Why are these guys giving us 0% coverage? Can I activate some of them? Please? There we go. On route, that should give us a bit of coverage. A lot of them are in the workshop, which is interesting, as I'm not quite sure I trust prisoners to be snitches and near tools, but we'll see what happens with that. Our grants are fine. What's our bank loan? 4,000. That's gnarly, but I think I'm going to need to spend a little bit more money because I want to put toilets in all of these solitary cells since not only is it the main thing to do, it's going to create less work for our janitors if we make sure that all these guys have access to uh, proper plumbing. I don't quite have enough cash for all of it, so I'm gonna make a very interesting move and actually collect $4,000 worth of grants, objects, more toilets, and after that I'm definitely going to increase the forestry area so that we can have a proper set of logs incoming at basically all times. Uh, now we need a bit of utilities to function with all those toilets we just set up. Let's drag this down, and from there we can create a pseudo trident, trident shape. Drag this all on over, and down the row, on over, down the row. Sadly, we're going to need to do a few uh, jigs and jags here and there, but otherwise it'll work out just fine. That's kind of a trident. Sort of, if you look at it funny. But now we've got all this extra cash. We want to make sure we've got a much, much larger forestry. Let's uh, chunk it down right here. There we go. And of course, we're going to need paths to this. So some concrete tiles. Soon enough, our money's going to take a big hit because we need to plant trees and all this. But I'm pretty sure we should have enough. Take it all the way to the corner, grass around the edges. I'm not going to worry about the bottom edge just yet because I'm going to need to put paving stones. Then again, it's only going to be costing me $5 per face of grass, so I think that that's not going to be too bad. Now we've got the rows being set up. We can bring on down the paving stones. Oh my, this is annoying. It's set in like slantways rows as opposed to these rows over here, so I don't actually think there's going to be an easy way around some of these. Oh, do I not have funds? That's right, I spent all that money on trees. So for now, we can just leave it with the trees being planted. How many gardeners do we have? I think two gardeners should be able to plant that in a decent time scale. And we've got some exports going out now, which will bump us up enough cash to pay for a little bit more pathing. Probably going to sink it into trees, but that shouldn't be a problem. This should give us about 
1500 if I'm not mistaken, which is great because that's going to leave us with about 3000 We do have a lot of uh, loan money taking up, <laughs> taking up our daily cash flow, but uh, they generally are not too bad. Let's get this path. It's going to have to jag in the middle, but I think this is the best way to handle it. Maybe not. Maybe not. There's just no way to bring paths down most of this area in such a way that they don't actually cut off trees. But we're going to try. Let's see. Right down here for as long as it can go. And then right down there. As well as one right here that goes down and then jags over. I think that should be more than decent pathing for them to quickly access most to all trees, so that's what I'm going to leave it with. We installed these toilets for a reason, guys. Can you not understand that? Anyways, I think it's about time for me to wrap up. We've done quite a bit of finagling. We've got more income being set up. We've changed out the layout some. Let me just have one quick look at our uh, job deployment and make sure everything is running up to speed. I don't think we need this many uh, jobs in each cleaning cupboard. I think 12 per is plenty. And that's going to wrap us up for the day. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm having a great time with this. I look forward to what Phoenix can bring me with next episode. So look forward to that, everybody. Have a great day.